Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'll be connecting my Nikon D3300 to OBS on my Mac computer using a USB cable and a video capture device. And then we're gonna compare both outputs to see which one will be best for you. For the USB connection, I'll be using Nikon's webcam utility. And for the video capture device, we do not need any additional software. We only need to set it up as a source and then we're ready to go. Now, let's get to the video. Okay, I'm in OBS. I have my Nikon D3300 connected to OBS using a USB cable. And now I'm gonna go to my video capture device usb video capture device and then from here i'm going to choose the uh, nikon webcam utility and from here it needs to detect uh the cable it looks like it's not detecting it so it's because my camera is off so i'm going to turn on the camera okay there you go so we see something here. So now what this is telling me is that I need to change the settings on the camera from wherever it's at into whatever uh, settings are in this section. If you look at the, the settings on your camera, you should see like a, a, a diagram like this. So that means that your camera needs to be set in any of those uh, settings uh, within that diagram. So I'm gonna switch it right now Right now I have it on auto, so I'm going to switch it to uh, P mode. So now that I switch it to P mode, here I am. This is what you can see using the Nikon webcam utility in OBS. And by the way, I am using my Mac computer running Mojave as a test. So this is a test, one, two, three testing. As you can see from the screen, this is what you're going to get because this application is for you to use it as a webcam. You're not gonna see a full-blown screen. However, you could do it in OBS. You can expand your screen to the maximum, but of course, you're gonna, you're gonna lose a resolution. But if you don't need a full-blown screen, then uh, whatever you set it up, or even if you minimize it, uh, it will be good enough for you. If you're doing a tutorial like I'm doing right now here, I don't need a full-blown screen. Okay, so this is how you set up your Nikon D3300 in OBS using the Nikon webcam utility. Now I'm going to switch to a video capture device so you can see the difference. We'll be back. Okay, here I am using a video capture device on my Nikon D3300. As you can see, the image is much clearer. Uh, the resolution, you get high resolution because of course is we're using an HDMI cable. Uh, but it's up to you which setup you're gonna use. As long as you convey the message that you want to send to your uh, audience, then I think either setup is okay. I'm going to uh, switch. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I can expand the screen. As you can see, the resolution is much clearer uh, compared to the USB cable connection. Again, this is what it looks like with a video capture device. And what we saw previously is with a USB cable. Video capture device or USB cable, the decision is yours. Work with what you have. I believe that as long as your message and your content is clear, your audience won't care what type of connection you're using. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and be well.